Judging by the arrangement, you could tell we're at Al's Garden Center in Sherwood, and with me is Andrea Palumbi, and in Albanian, Palumbi means? Um, um, goddess. <laughs> goddess, really? <laughs> I heard something else, but that's beside the point. You know, we're talking about bringing color inside, and besides wearing these gloves and bringing them inside, there are other ways to bring color inside. Let's talk about flowers. Well, first of all, I wanted to show you our drop-in that we offer. This is for outdoor containers, but this is the concept that we're going to go with today. This is something that we make at our farm, and it's already pre-planted, and you can come buy your container. Take this, and then drop it in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time First. out. That's cheating. You no. don't plant yourself. That's okay. Some people don't have time for that. And you know what? We bring them in. They're in bloom. They are beautiful. They're grown in. They really are beautiful, but I still say it's cheating. Well, but, So it's an okay. easy way. It is an easy way. For someone yep. to do it. All right. Now, let's say we want to do it more seasonally, and these aren't in bloom, and you want to bring it inside. What do you do? Sure. Uh, today we're going to show you how to take an existing indoor or you can purchase a new container and how you can get a larger plastic container, fill it up with soil, and then plug yeah, into the it. center of them little empty plastic pots. And what we're going to do is we're going to plant the rim of this container and then we're going to plop in seasonal color. Okay, with, with indoor or outdoor? Oh, this is all going to be indoor This plants. is going to be indoor. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so what should we start with first? Well, I would recommend filling it up with what, to the though? point. This could be potting soil. Potting soil. Yeah, that you can use for the outdoor containers and indoor. Okay. And then you're going to want to get your center pot mm -hmm. and uh, kind of get them nestled in there. I would use transplant fertilizer. This is the Owl's transplant. And, it, and it's easy to use? Seven. Yep, you just go ahead and scoop it out. I wouldn't worry. Oh, I would but you don't have to mix it up with anything. You just put it in. You the... just put it in. Okay, yeah. all right. You can look at the back. There is uh, the measurements on the size of the container, but I would just do a little handful. Yeah, forget measurements. Sprinkle it in and all then right. work it into the soil. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to find uh, a plant that we're going to keep on the ring of this container. And I like to do things kind of simple. Okay. Kind of makes it classy. A snake plant? Yeah. All right. And what I would do when you're thinking about getting ready to do this, come to your garden center and talk to the person that works in the house plant department. Such and as get... Andrea, which means goddess in Albanian. Go ahead. <laughs> and then get them to help you match up the right light conditions. If it's high light, light low light. Mm -hmm. In a house? Oh, you mean by a window. Yes. Not what you have a 40 watt bulb or anything. That's right. what I was thinking of right. first. You All want right. them to go ahead and recommend plants that are compatible. All right, very good. Okay. So we got a, a so snake plant here. So snake plant, I would go ahead, pop him out and just start filling them in. And these are going to be permanently planted in here. This is the swap out guy. Okay. So we might need some more soil in there. And uh, soil. Where's the soil? Soil's right here. Okay. Fill them up a little bit, and then I would continue the ring around the outside of that. These are little four-inch plants, so you can get these reasonably cheap. Okay. Okay. All right. And Let's... you're need, going to need quite a few. All right. So I'm going to take this snake plant. And... Yeah. And there we go. There you go. And I would pack them in there pretty tight. Okay. A lot of these house plants kind of like to be root bound, and they like their containers. Okay. To be pretty full with soil. I'm so making it's a mess. Take, the initial investment is, you know, going to be significant. You're going to probably want to pack these guys in. But All then right. once you have this planted, it looks very nice. Uh, yeah, it does. So we'll keep going with that. All right. And, and can you mix mix colors? You could. And, and you such? could. Okay. I tend to go kind of simple, kind of elegant. And right. then I'd go ahead and we'll just show you the front of it here. Okay. That guy, you would just set him right inside and of there. And this would be a cymbidium orchid, wouldn't it? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's up to you if you wanted to take him out of this and set him in there, but I probably would just go ahead and Why do we call plants them. hymns? I don't know. Because I think an orchid, I would think a... That uh, looks like a gal. It, that kind of does. And the other thing we have over there is some moss. Moss. We have a line of uh, moss called Super Moss. Okay. And it's this really pretty stuff. You can get it in many different colors. This would be a good thing to go ahead and top, top, top dress any areas where you can see the plastic container. And this so, would be a guy. Because I think when I think moss, I think peat. There you go. Yeah, All right. absolutely. All right. So you can top dress that right there. Yeah. Top dress it, it's Top dress it. Go ahead and cover up that plastic. Cover up and then I oh. think we might be ready. To put it to in? Put it in. Do you want to? All right. And then you would set it in the container. Now, for orchids, highlight or low light? Well, those are actually. Oh, it says right there. It's bright light, but I wouldn't okay. do direct light on it. Okay. And nothing in a dark room. All right. Okay. Very and good. then if you wanted to, you could pop this guy out. You could grab a vermiliad. Oh, a vermiliad. Yeah. So you wanted, I don't know, late summer color. There we go. You could do that. Nice. Very interesting. <laughs> nice vermiliad. And you could also, you know, maybe for holidays, you could pop in an Easter lily. 
Okay. And see all these containers. Whoa, that one fit uh -huh. right inside of there. There you go. Oops, we've got a snake plant down. Okay, Easter lily. And you could pop in an Easter lily. Right there. Okay. Good. Good. Well, you know, this all looks good. And, uh, of course, we're at Al's Garden Center in Sherwood. Andrew, thank you so You're much. You're welcome. You're very good at this, Thank you, way. thank you. I, they should hire you here. Uh, <laughs> all the information is on FusionNorthwest.com. And uh, thank you very much again. Thank you. All right.